Hello and welcome to episode five of the Behind the Silicon series. I'm Lucy Hedges and I'm here in beautiful Berlin, Germany, where the insiders and I are joining the Qualcomm team at IFA, the global stage for innovation, where we expect there to be several exciting announcements for the Snapdragon X series. Hey guys, yeah. good to see you as always. Yeah, good to see you. I'm excited to be back here in Europe. Yeah, my first time in Berlin. The weather's beautiful. It is. I can't is. wait for the press conference to start. Yeah, so on that note, what are you most interested in hearing about today? Well, I'm just excited that there's more announcements. I mean, I can't believe it's already been almost a year since this series began. I know. And it just seems like almost every couple of months, there's something new that comes up. Yeah, I'm expecting more OEMs maybe to announce new products because there's so many Snapdragon X uh, series devices out there. Are they going to add any more to it? Yeah, there's lots of excitement in the air, so I think we should probably get to the press conference, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're announcing the new addition to the X series, Snapdragon X Plus 8 Core. The idea is, can we bring devices at more affordable price points, but without compromising performance, battery life, without compromising AI? Many of these PCs will be available starting in the $700 range this fall. That makes Copilot Plus PC experiences available to even more people. So we've just come out of the press conference where Qualcomm have surprised us with yet another exciting announcement. I am, of course, talking about the Snapdragon X Plus 8 Core and a platform that's bringing AI and Copilot Plus features to even more consumers. Yeah, you know, just when you think Snapdragon is launched as much stuff <laughs> as we you know, think they'd be launching this year, they've got another trick up their sleeve. And that, the main thing is obviously open it up to the masses. Yes. Affordability. The benchmarks and stuff were still above the competitors, even with the yes. new eight-core uh, like performance battery line, mm. which is brilliant. It's the fastest MPU for mainstream PCs. You've got triple 4K and dual 5K monitor screen support. You've got all these things that we loved about the previous platforms that are coming onto the eight-core. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There really aren't that many compromises. We're getting more software that's compatible natively. And we obviously heard from ASUS as well, bringing two devices to the table and they're available today on the day of launch. Yeah, also Surface for Business, which shows that they're continuing to enhance their commercial offerings. Yeah, so it's not just exciting for consumers, it's really exciting for enterprise as well. We're now joined by Qualcomm's Head of Consumer GTM and Sales Enablement, Carmen True. Carmen, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. What an announcement. I think you could really feel the buzz in the air when Cristiano announced Snapdragon X Plus 8 Core. Yes, it's been our desire from the beginning to have this opportunity for this experience in as many hands as possible. And with the announcement today about the 8 Core, it just really helps to transform and put that experience in everyone's hand. What does 8 Core mean for consumers and I guess for your team as well? Sure, Acor helps us round out the portfolio of offerings and brings this new technology to more of the masses. More open to everybody and yes. more affordable price points. For both consumer and commercial. Yes. So this price point is really important to both of those customer bases. What effect will that have, especially you know, considering holiday time? Actually, it's very significant. So before we had more back to school and key things happening all at one time. And now with holiday, we're hitting that key shopping selling season. And so getting this core full set of suites together with the addition of the eight core, of course, the 10 and 12 core, that really will make a huge impact at the holiday selling period. You know, something that stood out to me during Cristiano's speech was the slide was up on the screen. I mean, it's just so many partners. <laughs> yes, 100%. So we had a very targeted uh, approach when we looked at our partnership. So we had both uh, what you would think of traditionally as retail partners that we would go to market with, but the other thing that we showed on stage was the ISVs, and that is really the applications that work on top of these devices. Our partnership with Microsoft helps us really to go out to those applications and build new things for our customers. We now have the pleasure of being joined by Nitin Kumar, Vice President of Product Management. Nitin, how are you? 
Fantastic, Lucy. Very nice to meet you. I'm really doing great. Really nice to meet you. So talk to me about how you're feeling about the 8 core announcement. It's a tremendous accomplishment, I must say. We started this journey with Snapdragon X Elite being announced at Snapdragon Summit in 2023 with our X Elite 12 core product. And then we added the 10 core X Plus product in April of this year. And now here we've also announced the X Plus 8 core product. It's a family of three products that are disrupting the PC experience all the way from high end 12 core to 10 core to the mainstream everyday PCs with the 8 core product. They all provide leading performance in their class absolute leading battery life and the same 45 tops npu experience yes. that we have in the x elite and the x plus 10 core carries over to the x plus 8 core so during yesterday's keynote we heard a lot about the rapidly growing snapdragon app ecosystem so can you explain a little bit more about what it means for an app to just work we have a three-step approach on that the first is that we have spent a lot of engineering talent to make sure that all the common apps just work. That means that even if your app is not natively compiled for Windows and Snapdragon architecture, Microsoft and Qualcomm have jointly worked together on an x86 emulation engine called Prism. And that app runs in an emulated mode and it just runs, it just works. But then a large variety of apps forget being emulated. They're all natively ported on Windows and Snapdragon architecture. And we're working aggressively with the remaining ones to make sure that they are fully optimized. So are there certain types of apps that your team are sort of focusing on or will there be like a variety of apps coming to Snapdragon? All variety of apps, that's a short answer. Mm -hmm. Whether it's for the consumer applications or enterprise commercial applications, our focus is across the entire segment. To give you a few examples, like Google Chrome, became native on Windows on Snapdragon architecture earlier this year. On the commercial side, we have multiple VPN applications, including NordVPN, along with the storage applications like uh, Google Drive, a Dropbox. Consumer side, video editing application, very popular. I'm sure you're very well aware of those. Yes, sir. That's all your application. In yesterday's uh, uh, launch of X Plus 8 core processor by Cristiano, Pawan Davaluri, Microsoft CVP, showed one statistic from people who are using the PCs already in the market, that 90% of their time is already spent on native applications. That's the number of applications that are already natively ported. I haven't come across an app that I use that is not uh, working or even not even native. It's a phenomenal device, it works great. The app ecosystem is awesome. And joining us now is Sasha from ASUS. Sasha, we have two very good looking devices in front of us and a trio of motherboards. So can you just tell us what we're looking at here? So the silver one right here, that's the ViewBook S15, which is already available with the Snapdragon X Elite 12 core. And now with the latest and greatest Snapdragon X Plus 8 core. And that's made for mainstream, so very broad appeal for pretty much anyone. So it's a really thin and light, ultra portable, great for anybody who wants long battery life, great performance, beautiful display, the new version that we just announced, what separates it from the one that we already uh, brought to the market is the price point. Very, very uh, competitive pricing. And the black one, that is our Pro PZ13 tablet. Mm -hmm. This is the same 8-core Snapdragon X Plus chip, specifically made for creators on the go. What really went on behind the scenes to create such great looking devices that are also very useful? Yeah, so for this one, the main idea was mass appeal. And this one, we wanted it to be an ultra portable device that you can use like a external monitor, external display. It has a touch screen, right? So you can swipe through different files and it is also waterproof. So you can take this thing anywhere. These are the motherboards for the VivoBook, the Silver ViewBook S15 here. And I brought them because I think it's really cool to see what's on the inside. You got the Snapdragon X Elite in here, the 12 core and the Snapdragon X Plus, the brand new A-Core in here. And over here, we got the motherboard for the tablet. It's the same brand new Snapdragon X Plus chip. Can you tell us a little bit more about the performance on these new laptops? So I think the performance is really stunning and has shocked everyone. The X Elite is performing absolutely insane. And uh, for anybody who wants a super powerful ultra portable, that's the way to go with the ViewBook S15. And then the X Plus uh, is an amazing price point. You get the same single core performance, the same amazing battery life at a lower price point, and you can get it in an ultra portable 800 gram tablet. So yeah, really exciting.
So guys, it really has been a brilliant couple of days here in Berlin at IFA, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah there's a really great announcement with that surprise Snapdragon X Plus 8 core. I did not see that coming. <laughs> and it's truly amazing that Snapdragon X Elite are still gaining momentum. Yeah. So there's more offerings out there for everyone. And on that note, I am super sad to say that this is the end of our time together. But no. to put a more positive spin on things, give me a couple of highlights from over the series that really stood out for you. Well, I feel like every episode has really been its own experience. Yeah. One of the ones that especially stood out to me was when we interviewed Gerard Williams. You know, we're, we're all tech geeks and yeah. it was just a good time able to just talk tech. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed talking to Don McGuire in uh, Taipei about uh, the PC reborn and in the labs in San Diego, the sensing hub with moving heads and just start the thermal testing and the rigorous sort of benchmark tests yeah. that they do. Yeah, that was really eye-opening, wasn't it? It's not something I tend to think about or have ever thought about and being given that access, which felt really special as well, you know? And ever since that initial announcement in Maui, I've just been looking forward to finally getting my Snapdragon X series device. Yeah. Which, when I went to Best Buy in Minnesota, I was able to actually get it. Yeah. I think a highlight for me has got to be meeting with some of the different OEMs, you know, just how they're utilizing all the different technology and making certain features more prominent in their devices. Of course, getting our hands on the technology as well, all the different devices. I think we were quite lucky. We were among the first. And of course, meeting with the main man himself, Cristiano. We had a great chat with him, you know, about what this launch means for not only Qualcomm, but for the industry itself. Guys, I can honestly say that I have enjoyed every minute of being on this journey with you, getting to know yeah. you guys so much better. This is an incredible honor. Oh, yeah. And I think when people talk about these devices and these platforms, a little part of me is gonna be like, I was there from the beginning, what yeah, on the front yeah. line. And we were all able to travel the world to see this whole process. And yeah. it's really just a very unique opportunity. And I'm sure you both agree too. I'm very grateful to be part of this. Yeah. yeah. Bring it in. Yeah. And you guys are absolutely awesome. So that brings us to the end of our time at IFA, and I'm super sad to say that is also the end of our journey. But that certainly isn't the end for amazing products coming from Team Snapdragon. So make sure you stay tuned for what's next from the Behind the Silicon series. And of course, go out and buy yourself a Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PC. What are you waiting for? The Behind the Silicon series has been shot on Snapdragon. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications.